hello! Finally, we're doing our first Let's Play. I don't think we needed any introduction. You probably heard it five times. But I'm Bear23, and we're going to be Let's Playing the Xbox One Rare Replay Remaster of Perfect Dark. Which, in my opinion, is the best shooter game ever made. Closely followed. Like, extremely. It's either a tie between this game or Borderlands 2, honestly. Because this game, like, the actual main story gameplay, I mean, trust me, there's like a bunch of optional stuff that we're going to be doing that make this is why this game is cool. There's like secret guns and stuff. But I'm not going to talk, I'm basically just going to let the cutscene play out. Because one thing about this game is, it's kind of hard to understand what the people are saying, so I'm going to be silent. But, yeah, hope you guys enjoy this. mission. Why the big hurry? If Dr. Kahlo is not extracted tonight, Data Dine will put him through mind conditioning. The rule is our best chance of finding out what Data Dine are up to. Are they all expendable? Don't joke. You have to be careful, Joanna. Code keys will only operate while the owner is alive. If you kill them, the key is useless. Our guards are a different matter, of course. What's the target location? Work your way down the building to the ground well. Dr. Cowell will be in a research lab somewhere in the underground facility. How will I recognize him? We don't have an image record, and we can't find any official files. All we have is the name. Good luck, Dr. Dark. I'm so excited for the remake of this game. Here we are, first mission, Data Dine Central headquarters. Uh, yeah, we're playing as Joanna Dark, and we gotta go figure out what Data Dine's up to. Cause they stole this guy, uh, named Dr. Carroll, who we need. Cause he knows what Data Dine's doing. So, that is basically the plot of this game, in a nutshell. Not really, that was a huge lie. I don't want to spoil this game's plot, but it's really confusing. So I think at the beginning of every mission, I'm just kind of going to do a recap. And in the description of this video, I might, depending on how spoiler free I feel it is, uh, I might uh, copy and paste this game's Wikipedia like plot description and edit some things out so it's spoiler free. Just to get a better sense of what's kind of going on. Because like, different, different things in missions can, like, end up for you having to do different things in levels, so... But, um... Yeah, this game soundtrack is really good. This song's alright. This game soundtrack is really cool later on. Yeah, but this game gets into, like, aliens and the underwater, like, the deep ocean and stuff. It's a cool game. But... Aha, uh -huh, now we got double popping. It's nice. Yeah, this first area, this game, you're gonna notice it's kind of like I'm shooting at stormtroopers right now. Yeah, this, this first part of the game, admittedly, is not very hard. The one that does get hard, you'll be able to notice the difficulty spike just from me frantically playing. But I think it's a tie either between this, Mario Galaxy 2, and the Majora's Mask, the favorite game of all time. Oh, and Hylix 2. That was a really good game as well. This game just never gets boring to play, though. Never. It's just like the right length. I think this game's like, not doing any optional secret stuff. Uh, I think this game's like, I don't know, 15 hours, maybe? I mean, for an N64 shooter game, it's pretty short. Uh, actually, wait, no, we need you up here, elevator. Yeah, they're remaking this game though, which I'm, I, they, they really, but they don't, I don't know, I can't speak. They better not mess it up. 
because they have pretty big shoes to fill, especially with the soundtrack. I suppose it's so good. Yeah, the guy who composed this game's soundtrack, Grant Kirkhope, he did uh, the banjo games as well, Donkey 64. He's the big soundtrack guy at Rare. Or he was, because he doesn't work that anymore. And rightfully so. It, hurt, it hurts me, but yeah, that company has fallen from grace lately. They are just like marching next to me. But, uh. There we go. Okay. Dead yet. I also I have auto aiming off, so all these quick movements are actually me planning. So I just thought I mentioned that. No more. Yeah, we're playing as Joanna Dark and uh, on the mission too, I guess. Uh, yep, data down investigation. Yep, okay. Mission two. I like this cutscene. Huh? Commentary conversation here. I like talking, but this level is really fast, and I don't want to start any big like stations uh, through this door. Okay. All right. Uh, I think I want to switch myself into right now. Okay. So we gotta wait for this cleaning robot to come through here. And, uh, so that guy over this cleaning robot over here, when he goes by these ladies, it disables them, so we gotta go through, and then wait for him to come back around so we can get in that room over there. Um, what can we talk about? Yeah, but no, this game will start to get more hectic and more like a shooter game as it goes on. I made a sequel for this game uh, on the Xbox 360, I think? No, on the original Xbox, it was very bad. Okay, there we go. Second three, here we go. Are we gonna get one of my favorite guns in the game in here? Has a really cool, every gun in this game is a secondary feature. Like this, the Falcons have pistol whips. Uh, this gun we're about to get, it's it's double feature. It doubles as an explosive. Doctor Carl has got to be nearby. I found him. Okay. The dragon. Okay. Right. Okay. All right. It works. No, I was just. Whenever you get this thing, you have to recalibrate it in that corner for a second, otherwise it like starts you down there. No, but um... The dragon, it's cool, so it's like a... rapid fire gun, but then it doubles as an explosive. But I'm not gonna use that, because I need this gun. Data uplink. Yeah, and ev you start off uh, every mission with the specific weapon that the game assigns to you. Which I actually kind of like, because each new level is kind of a different mission. Except for this level, because obviously you get to keep whatever you've gotten. Oh yeah, actually I want the dragon for this room. 
Which makes sense because we're just going deeper trying to find Dr. Caravan. This area. Chapter 4. Yep, okay. This is the hard. This I. Okay. You can get killed in here very fast. This entire room is just full of dragon moves. Okay. Yeah, I'll go and get the shield in here. Why not? Ten minutes this video's at. Uh, yeah, we'll just finish up this entire first day to dine. Yeah, we'll just finish up. There's only one more level after this, so. Yeah. yeah th th this is a very quick. Uh, you know what you're doing. I mean, obviously, yeah, duh, but like, it's really fast. This is where Dr. Carol is. Dr. Carroll, are you here? Well, are you afraid to come out? Yes, all clear. Wh what? You're... Very professionally done, my dear. But there's no time to waste. You must leave immediately. Come on! I have vital information. You will protect me. All right. All right, here we go. Dead Dine Extraction, final mission. <sighs> Sound the alarm! She's here. Lights out. Oh. <sighs> what the? Night vision. Let's go. Darn it! I thought I would have got my headshot on him. Yep. So this is the hardest. Um, I think this might be one of the harder missions in the game, and it's not even that difficult. But you literally only get this pistol up until the very end, and these guys do tons of damage. You can see I'm already well on health. I'm just gonna try to sneak around these guys and just go in, which is something that I'm not gonna be able to do pretty soon after this. This game is easy for like the first couple missions, and then it gets really difficult. It just slaps you in the face. It just bullies you for thinking it was an easy game, which I like a lot. You don't actually have to bring Dr. Carol up if you don't call for it. But basically, what we need to do is just get out of here, obviously. Which means we have to go, we have to backtrack, obviously. But they have gated off the main doorway. To where we need to go. As you can see, this door is locked. There's a shield in here. You actually do have to kill every enemy in this level. That's one of the. Uh, you can check out. Let me minus here. You can check the mission log of what you have to do for a level. And then yeah, kill Cassandra's bodyguards. And Cassandra is the person that. Oh, she's like the president of Data Dawn. And we would have seen her. We would have won her room in mission one. But, uh, we would have failed the mission because obviously we had to be sneaky. We couldn't let this end in the This is like the only mission in the game you get the shotgun. Well, no, we need to go in this elder. Yep, so they gave it off the... behind the gate and this door is unlocked. That's not how it oh no, she's here A rocket launcher, I love this thing. You only get one shot, but it's cool. And we do need to kill these guys because they do count as bodyguards, so how did I 
you miss, you know, whatever. Going somewhere. Something I can do for you, old woman. Return our sapient immediately. You don't know what you're doing. Yes, I do. I'm leaving. One more chance. Give it back. And you could come and work for me. Got a shoot. You must get the sapient back. We cannot proceed without it. I know that. I also know who to talk to. Mr. Caddington. Alright. That was episode one. I'll see you guys next time. There's, there's really nothing else to say about the ending. Uh, bye.